Welcome everyone, my name is DeAndre, and this is Restored Treasures. So I came across this entryway table on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm going to see what I can do with it. The maker did a really good job with hiding the screws on these drawers. I had to break down both drawers completely just to get to the screws, remove the Velcro, take the board off, and then unscrew the screws to take the hardware out. All right, y'all, so my original plan was to take the top of the table back down to bare wood. Going along through the process, I realized that this wasn't a solid wood table. It was like a particle board or something. And I began to like cause a little patch or a hole at the top of the table from too much downward pressure. Also, I should have been sanding from left to right if this was a solid piece of wood, I should have been going with the grain of the wood. Um, in this video, I was going against it, which is an error. You don't want to go against the grain. Here, I'm applying the Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer. It's really good for blocking stain, which I needed because my stain was really dark on this piece. It's also really good for blocking odors if your piece has a smoke smell or any kind of really rough odor. It does a really good job with blocking that as well. The only thing I used to apply my paint or primer was this brush and a roller. Preferably, it would have been a chip brush, but um, you just need something small just to get into the tight corners. And then I rolled everything else on, which makes it really quick it makes applying the paint or the primer smooth and even um, the only thing i will warn you of is around corners where the paint or primer can accumulate and cause like a drip spot so you want to wipe that off while it's wet in between coats i always like to just hand sand back with the 220 block or as you can see here 240 that's what I had on me at the time and then just wiping everything back to keep all the dust off and keeping it clean before I apply the next coat I wanted to keep this project simple but slightly modern at the same time. So I went with the pure white paint from Bear throughout the whole project. I went with two coats and again sanding in between coats. These orange cones came in really handy for me. I got them off of Amazon and allowed me to get the feet really well and prevent getting paint and primer on the parking pad. So I would highly recommend getting them, especially for small projects like this. I got the hardware from Home Depot. I really liked them a lot. They're really hard and sturdy hardware. They were brass, but they also came at a high price. It was about $7. 
a handle. So guys, tell me what you think. Tell me how it turned out. Simple project. A lot of things I need to learn. A lot of mistakes I might have made. So honest opinions accepted. I do have some more projects coming. So follow me on this journey as I get better with making furniture and as I get better with making videos. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.